could be alarming for everybody. And liberal from Alberta, shame on you. Those little videos that you put up that are mine calling me a liar. Well, this is going to tell you you're the liar. Anyway, it's really sad I'm watching this case because it's really important. And it's already been. It's already been. You know, if you don't have any dignity in Canada, you qualify for euthanization. Imagine our neighborhood, downtown east side Vancouver. And the man that tried to block his daughter's request. Could you imagine for a medical assisted suicide, the judge's response revealed something that should alarm you all. It will not alarm the person that harassed me about euthanization when I was in mega pain and qualified just like Mary Lou, who was euthanized and not dying. She was in a lot of pain, but I was in a lot of pain before I got my diagnosed three and a half years of hell pain. And then I wasn't offered medication, no. And I couldn't take medication like Tylenol or anything like that because it made the pain so much worse. It was my stomach pain not being able to, you know, process the neighborhood poo and pee. Fumes which are just overwhelming. So, out of Alberta comes a case that rises more questions about Canada's law on medical assistance in dying maid. And provides... A stark reminder of how little oversight there is over a system that has resulted in thousands of deaths each year. I don't know how much we were. I've, I've lost count with 60,000 in a few years. Every year it goes up. Because now people think it's a medical procedure. When really they're entering a contract of murder and death. They are not animals and should not be treated like animals. And anybody goes, oh yeah, but they're suffering. Okay. We have places when people are ready to die. They don't feel anything because they are drugged up. And they get to have their own death when God intended them to. It's not because some liberal is starving for sacrifices. That's, that's all. Because why would you sacrifice someone like this? It involves a 27-year-old Calgary woman who wants to end her life through maid. And her father who went to court to block her request. The wrinkle and perhaps the tragedy of this case is that the woman identified only as MV has autism. This is such a bad day for you, autism. You know what? You don't even got people standing up for you, but the drug is downtown east side. Been taken off the euthanization list because the people that make money in the medical industry, the medical industry, we're not talking about oops now, stood up for them. We're talking about nurses and doctors. The rest of us down here, we qualify for it because we, we really don't have dignity down here. Anyone that says you have dignity down here probably doesn't even know what dignity is okay or or it doesn't fall love it love it down here oh my god i'm not a sadist you have to be a sadist to love it all the human suffering down here and i know guys have dignity different so i don't even want to argue with guys you know women are different guys are different we think different we have different thinking brains and we're smaller the wrinkle perhaps the try oh I did that okay she lives with her parents and has never had an independent life her father identified as WV argued that her condition is mental not physical so she doesn't qualify for made under the current law and really honestly she doesn't it was supposed to be postponed, but it's not, which I've been telling people it's not been postponed, especially not my neighborhood or their neighborhood. Her condition led her to being obsessed with maid. Ah, there we go. Obsessed with maid with a little bit of mental issues. Obsession. To cut to the chase, Justin Colin Feesby of Alberta's Court King's Bench. Ugh, it makes me want to vomit. 
especially after seeing that Luciferian picture of Prince of uh, King Chuckles, you know. And then people have found other images that are demonic in it. I mean, it's demonic red. It screams, hey, I'm above Luciferian, and I've gone 100% satanic. It's a horrible picture. It's not even regal. Somebody uh, mirrored that picture and found a demon in it, too. And I, I could see it. I didn't mirror it. I don't know how to do it. So anyway, this lady is obsessed with obviously made. Alberta's court of King's Charles Bench this week tossed out an injunction that WV had obtained to stop his daughter from accessing maid. The effect of his ruling is that she can end her life. Could you imagine the tragedy of being her parent? No fault of her own. She's mental Ill. got mental illness. You've been told that, hey, this is not happening to for a few more years. Gonna get people used to it. The judge stayed his ruling for 30 days to allow time to appeal. Oh, well, that's good. So it's probably an appeal process right now. It's a lengthy decision along with the way. Few things about the maid system as it's currently being used become uncomfortably clear. And I've been saying this, I've been following it. People got euthanized in my neighborhood because, and it made the newspaper. That's how I found out, but you can't find it on Google now. It changes every day. That they got euthanized because they were told you're going to really suffer if you have the COVID. So we're going to euthanize you and save you. And they went for it. Okay? Medical procedure. We're not animals. I don't want to have a conversation with anybody that's an atheist. 10% of the people have that religion, atheist. In order for you to believe that life started in a chemical soup billions of years ago, you got to have a lot of belief. And it becomes a religion. And I don't fall for that religion. What did the fucking creature eat when it came out? And then it progressed to plants and all these, these very intricate stuff. And then finally, man evolved the last. Yeah, right. Nothing's ever evolved without any engineering by science. Sure, you can change puppy's looks, but it's still a puppy. It is a lengthy discussion, and along the way, a few things about the maid system, as it's currently being used, become uncomfortably clear. One is that the court opened the way for Envy to end her life. Without knowing why, the woman didn't present any evidence about her condition. I have to, you know, prove present evidence to a court system that I don't even trust at the province. I mean, those lunatics don't even know. Euthanizations for animals. This is a murder-suicide contract. And people, the 10% of the people that think that we, that their great, 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 great grandpa was a rock and then changed into plants and blah, blah, all these things before he came. Yeah, they shouldn't be allowed in the discussion. It's 10%. They're also being used by Albert Pike. You know, use the poor Muslims and they've already been battered and atheists that do a lot of battering. Turn them against the regular population. Because Albert Pike said they'll both be really bloody. They'll create a bloodshed and then people go look what they can do. And we'll have our one world government, which and religion, yes. And Sunday law will be coming. You don't have to believe me. You can go read the Pope's encyclicals. One. Okay, where are we? She didn't present. That's just so horrible. The only medical evidence was submitted by her father. And it's decidedly... Well, he should put the word in. Very underwhelming. A specialist report 
from 2021 confirmed a diagnosis of autism, which is now a life sentence if you don't like it in Canada. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't wish that on any kid. I've seen kids with it. It's very, very hard. And ADHD. But found, I may have a tiny bit of ADHD. It's just very, very, very slight. But found only such symptoms as a propensity for tripping and falling, numbness and tingling in her hands and feet, and difficulty going up the stairs for the past five years. Overall, the specialist described her as looks well, not in distress. What this doesn't say is what the judge said. The judge said nobody should be have to live without any dignity. I hear that in my head every day since I read that article. It's funny how I can read things, but I can hear them in my head. You know, I'm reading this and I'll be hearing this in my head. Yeah, you, no one in Canada should be living without dignity. I got stolen dignity, that's for sure.